Okay, question three. We are asked to write these numbers in order of size, starting with the smallest number. Okay, so all I'd do is I'd look through them and find the smallest, which is 98. Underline it. I'd find the next smallest, which is 145. The next smallest, which is 358. Put a comma in between these to avoid confusion. The next smallest, which is 709. And the next smallest, which is 835. Okay? Write these numbers in the order of size. Start with the smallest. Okay, now with negative numbers, sometimes people get confused. I'm just going to take a tiny moment just to put these on a number line to make it clear why uh, one is smaller than the other. That's going to be zero on the number line. Let's write each of these numbers on the number line. Four is going to be somewhere like there. Um, negative five is going to be somewhere uh, like here. Seven is going to be up here somewhere. Negative one is going to be here. And negative eight is going to be somewhere like there. Now, it's very clear which is the smallest now when they're on the number line. It's not the size of the actual number without the sign. It's where it is in the number line. And the smallest is clearly negative 8. And the next one's negative 5. The next one's negative 1. Um, the next one's 4. And the next one is 7. Write these numbers in the order of size, starting with the smallest. Again, there are different ways of doing this. Um, I'm going to try and show you a picture method, so hopefully... Um, you might like uh, this method. All these numbers are less than one. Okay, so I'm gonna try and draw each of these numbers. Imagine this was a scale between zero and one here. So firstly, I'm gonna try and draw a quarter. Now, a quarter, each of those is a half, and a quarter is a half for half. So a quarter would look something like that. Okay, that one's gonna be a quarter. What's 0.2? Well, 0 0.2 is uh, 2 tenths. So if I separated the number 1 up into tenths, okay, this would be 5 tenths, which is half. And each of these are going to be divided into 5. So let's say 1, uh, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, and similarly along there. Now, 0 0.2 is going to be that much. So that's 0 0.2. 40%. Uh, is 40% of, of this hole here, if the hole's one. So 40%, well, it's going to be similar to above here, if you think about it. If each of these, if there are five of these and five here, then 40% uh, is going to be four out of 10. So that's going to be 40%. Three quarters is going to be one quarter, two quarters, three quarters as above. So you can see that three quarters is going to be somewhere like that. That's going to be three quarters. And 0 0.5 is a half. So 0 0.5 is clearly a lot along here with a half is going to be there. Now, hopefully you can see uh, the smallest one. The smallest one is therefore 0 0.2. The next smallest one is therefore a quarter. The next smallest one is therefore 40%. Uh, the next smallest one is therefore uh, uh, 0.5, and the next smallest one is 3 quarters. Okay, so a picture can always help you out with that. Alternatively, just to show you another method, you could convert them all into, let's say, decimals. If you remember your decimals, a quarter is 0.25, that is a decimal, it's 0.2, 40% is 0.4, 3 quarters is 0.75, and 0.5, then you could compare them. You could make them all fractions if you wanted to. Okay, that's a fraction, it's a quarter. That's two tenths, which is two out of 10, which simplifies to a fifth. 40% is four out of 10, which simplifies to two fifths. Three quarters like that, and five tenths is a half. Maybe you could use fractions, or you could convert them all into percentages, which seems like an easier option than fractions, maybe decimals or percentages are your way. A quarter is 25%, 0 0.2 is 20%, 40% already in decimal in percentage, three quarters is 75%, and 0 0.5 is 50%, and you could use uh, those. Uh, but a picture always works out well for me, I find it easier to think that way.